Got him. Oh, and he's a big one. That's how you know they are bloody fresh. Look at the size of that fella. That's a good tail there. Today I've come out to a spot that I've been trying to get to for probably six weeks now. I've been out here twice and there's a bit of a low-lying area on the other side of this little waterhole in between the road and the waterhole and it's been swampy for six weeks now. I've come out here, I think I was only out here a fortnight three weeks ago and it was that wet you couldn't swim across there. Um, now it's that dry, it's all dust. <laughs> it's amazing how things change. This is sort of like an overflow. Looks like a whole heap of ducks over there and it mustn't be very deep because it's only up to those ducks wings. So I reckon this one's probably a little bit shallow. We've got the boss with us this morning. I'm gonna get her on the line and see if she can't get us some big fellas. But this is the water hole that I've been wanting to get to. Oh yes, looks bloody good too. This is the actual water hole that I've been trying to get to for ages. I've never actually been here, so I don't know how we're gonna go. We got up well and truly before daylight to try and get out here early to beat the heat. Uh, it's just coming into autumn and the morning's just got that nice little crispness to it. Just having a look here, I didn't actually realize there is another dam over the back of this one. Well, that's interesting. There is actually another little dam over the back there, so we've got three to choose from. I think this one, this one here will give a miss because I know it is really shallow. It's like I said, there's a couple of ducks over there swimming around. It's only up to their wings, so it's not very deep. Oh shit. Oh yuck. Just trot in a big turd for the morning. What I'm gonna do, this is the main dam. There's one over the back, I think we'll go there with a the line. I've got five traps with me today. Uh, I think what the plan will be, we'll put the five traps out here in this main dam. Because I think the main dam's probably gonna be the most likely one. And just to give you the heads up, what I've got for bait is just the good old trusty bullock liver and I have some pig skin. This one here is mixed. That one I'll put in over there is straight liver. And I think there's one in there that is straight pig skin. Um, I run a bit of a test on it before. It would have been two or three videos ago. Um, and the yabbies went off on the pig skin, so... It's gonna be worth keeping for the next little while, I think. We'll keep working our way around this dam. I reckon there's an inlet over here. We'll definitely put a trap there. Got trap number three. The inlet's only just over here, probably 10 meters, but I'm directly across from the first trap. So I reckon we'll get that one out there. We're just working our way around. I'm just having a look at this little water hole over the back here. It actually looks pretty good. We'll get all the traps in this hole. This is the inlet. Give them a look at this inlet. It's like they put a heap of rock here. I'd say there's got to be a deep channel down in here. So I reckon we'll put one right in the middle of the outlet. We've always done good. Oh, well, inlet, not outlet. I'd say all the water would come from up behind us here. You can see the ground's a bit higher. That little hole there must be nearly put there as the settling pond to stop this dam filling up the silt. What we'll do, we might grab a line each and head over the back, I think, to this little settling pond over the back and have a crack with the line. Just walking through here, I've actually walked past this exact spot twice now. Check this out, almost trud on him. What is it? Have a look. 
What? You can barely see him there. Huh? Hold Eileen it. still can't see him. No, like a meter, can. like a meter away. Hold! I don't want. It was, it's gonna move. He's watching me. He's a bit cold. Check that out. That's what you call a bearded dragon. Hmm? He's it's probably the cold morning. We've actually last night. I didn't think it was that cold that he'd be um, this docile. Hmm. But I literally nearly stepped on him and I looked down. That's why you've got to be a bit careful because a brown snake can do the same thing. He'll be just curled up there and you won't see it. But he's harmless uh, bearded dragon. What I'll do is I'll go and sit him over here on this post so he can get a bit of sun. Set him up there, you'll get a bit of sun. Another hour or so, you'll be climbing all over things. Take him that way. Yeah. What do you reckon you got there? There's definitely something having to go at the rod in this little hole, in this little settling pond. But I'm not too sure whether it's, it might be a fish or a yabby. We're about to find out. She's taking her time. What is it? Is it a yabby? Or a fish? Nothing. Or a bit of meat? Huh. Was it a yabby? It, it no. was, but... Oh, was it? Oh, I didn't catch it yet. Just there. <laughs> it was a yabby. Oh, well, they're in here. That's a good sign. And it's not the easiest bank to scoop off. I'll give you a look in a minute, but the mud down here is really soft. Like you sink up to your knees soft. Oh, it looks like there could be a bit of weight back on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, you scooped too early. Oh, he was a good fella too. Scooped way too early. This thing. Put it back out there. I don't know whether that was a... It's a yabby. It's a yabby, is it? It was heavy. I forgot how to catch a yabby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope he's hungry. So that was the second attempt. I don't think he'll be back on there just yet. Yeah, no. I'll just put the net there. It was heavy. Well, yeah, I've seen the swirl of it. It nearly looked like a fish, but the way it was holding on, there was a lot of weight on there, so a fish wouldn't just hold on like that. I saw the yabby. Yeah, it's definitely yabby. Don't scoop until you can see the bait. There's a sinker on there, yeah, about six inches. You should be nearly under him there now. Got him. Oh, and he's a big one. She wasn't mucking around. <laughs> that was that is you. a bloody big fella. It's heavy. Get the line back out there. I was sort of starting to doubt her a little bit. No, it was heavy. Look at him. Big slimy bugger. He's all tangled up in the net. Uh, come on out, you come. He's going to end up getting me. Well, <laughs> she's on the board straight up. We've only been here a couple of minutes. He's not the cleanest looking yabby. Although he could be only dirty because we just dragged him through the mud a couple of times too. We'll get him in the esky because he's definitely a keeper. No eggs. I've only just got that um, big fella in the esky over there. And she's yelled out, there's another one, and it's taken a rod, so <laughs> hopefully it's another big fella. I thought this place would do all right. It's a really out of the way. Um, you, there's no actual track in here. The farmer's got a little bit of a track into here where you can get to his cattle. But I think the... Oh, yes. I'll stop you, He's coming into the bank, is he, or are you tangled in your net? Oh, he's another big one. You got him too. Oh, no, he's not that big. But definitely a keeper. Oh, this is all right. We can get onto him like this. Sort of makes me think these traps over the, the main dam are going to do all right. And I'll get some grass and a bit more water straight into this bucket because I've got a feeling we'll probably get a few. She's got me running already. I was just trying to get some grass into that bucket and she's got another one straight up. Can you see that? See the rod? 
Oh yeah, look at the rod go there now. Oh, I'm puffed out. <laughs> I've been running backwards and forwards already. Yeah, that does look heavy, that one. I've got a feeling we're going to get onto some monsters today. Take him nice and steady. And it's going to be another hot one today. Although we did have a nice cool morning. It's probably only 8 a.m. That sun's coming up and you can feel the bite in the sun already. God, that one has actually got a fair bend in the rod. <laughs> oh, he let go, did he? Oh, no. Got him. Another one straight up and then two, is it? I don't know. Oh, no, it's only one, but he's a good one. Another good one straight up. You beauty. He's not an absolute monster, but he's definitely not small by anyone's standards. He's not what I would call a monster, <laughs> but he's... And they, they're a bit dirty looking in this little hole here, but it's really shallow. And I find these really shallow, muddy holes, they will get a bit mucky looking. And this is what I was talking about. I don't know if you can see down the bottom of there. That's how soft the mud is. You can see where the cows have been treading and they've been probably sinking up to their knees. And she's on again already. I knew it would be worth the track out here. Um, I was just a bit dubious about coming out here because I've driven all the way out here twice or three times, like I said already this season. Small one. Small one. Um, 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 I think we might even just let this little fella go. We've got three big ones already. Check it over there. What is it? It's a little female. So I'll bring her down here and she can go back. I think we're going to get enough big ones. I mean, most people would probably call that a fairly average size yabby. But too small for us. You see the cows, I don't know how well they're going to show on camera. They're working their way over here. What I hope is they don't want to go to the main dam. I hope they go to the dam that's on the other side of that fence because they'll probably trample our traps. Oh, she's on again. Well, this little hole is all right. It's one after the other. Another small, small again. Two. You actually got two that time. Two little fellas. <laughs> there you go. I just seen something on top of the water over here. Come over and show you. Oh, it's seen me. I'm swimming away. Snake. Yeah, that's what you got to be careful of. Look at this. He's seen me. He's swimming the other way. Here he comes. You can see it right on the water there. And that's what you got to be careful of because although it's small they are still deadly and it is a baby brown you have to be very careful because those little suckers there they're more deadly than the big ones because they'll just keep striking and they are venomous even at that age And it looks like they've got a fair catchment for this dam. You can see this um, bit of a channel that runs out here. And then there's a levee that's built off and runs way over there into the distance. And slight elevation going that way. So all the runoff from this whole area out here will run down, hit the levee, come down this channel. Must fill this little channel here first and then run off come down and then that's the inlet for the main dam now there is a bore um, obviously that windmill there's a bore that goes down into the ground under that windmill for anyone that don't know 
as the windmill turns pulls the pump up and down which pumps water and i can see the pipe runs straight out into the dam so that's what would keep this big dam full now a lot of these pumps are redundant now uh, they've generally they're starting to set up solar panels um, but that one there actually looks like it's still working you get one yeah oh you actually got one she said she didn't know whether there was one on there or not and as you can tell we've moved spots we were up here on this corner and we've decided to come up into the middle of the um, little dam just have a go and she's only been here two minutes i don't think the one she's got is very baby big one. i can't even see it the is there one in there yeah. where oh yeah oh it's a good sign to see the little fellas here what i'm hoping is a lot of the really big ones are over in the big dam but we'll let these little ones go i'm just looking i don't know whether that there is a big yabby hole or not i almost thought a fish straight away but there seems to be a bit of weight on there no oh oh yeah he's all right it's not as big as what i thought it would have been the way it dragged that rod but it's not a small one either <laughs> oh, he's all right nice and clean too that's what we're after yeah he's a nice one clean nice nice and clean good eating size we were just thinking about moving because that rod had gone quiet for a couple of minutes but there was actually one on there um yeah he is a bit small we'll just let him go where is he? I was just packing up to shift down to the end. And another little one. We'll let him go. Again. Let him go. There he goes. He didn't muck around. We'll keep migrating down. We'll go down and have a go right at the end of this hole. About here somewhere, I reckon. Oh, she's going for the shade. Good idea. Only one problem. What? Shit. Right in the shade, there's a heap of big cow turds. <laughs> I'd say the cows are probably thinking the same thing. So Eileen just asked me a question. What did you just ask me? No, nothing. She said, does the snakes dig their own holes? <laughs> Which I don't actually know. But the logical answer I said was, well, the snake's got no arms, so I don't know how they're going to dig a hole. <laughs> I was looking at heaps of holes in here, there might be snakes. I'm Are pretty you? sure a snake will just um, go into a hole that's already been dug by something else that's got arms and legs. But I don't know, they may dig their own holes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you pointing at me for? Because they're not for me. <laughs> It'll be a baby anyway. She's got a monster on the line. Yeah. Shook it. She didn't know whether there was one on there or not. It doesn't look too bad. Oh, oh my God, oh, I oh. took my foot. <laughs> you nearly went in. <laughs> nearly went in. Oh, you got two. Where? There's one hanging on and one in the net. Just put him straight over there. I'm thinking if we're getting all these little ones in here, we're going to get some all right ones out of the trap, which I think we may even go and check the trap, so okay. it's probably been a good hour. Mm -hmm. Let that one go. We're going to make our way back around to the car. It's an absolute beautiful morning this morning. That windmill stopped blowing again. The wind is actually in our favour today. So let's see how the big dam's done. First trap coming in. And it's not the first trap that we put in. We're just starting here. We're going to work our way back around. Yeah, you got one in there. Oh no, you got two. Shrimp. Two bloody I'm monsters. Just shrimps, look. That's all right. I don't mind just getting two. It's only been an hour. Um, heaps of shrimp. 
Can we take the shrimps too? Put the shrimps back in the bag. And these big dark fellas, he's nice, reasonably clean. I thought the ones out of this big dam would be cleaner. And he's a big dark one, he'd be full of meat. And look at the nipper on him. Absolute beauty. Got a heap of shrimp out of that trap, which I'll get back in the dam. Because they do a good job of keeping it clean. He lo looks like a big old fighter too. Have a go at the nippers on him. This is the one at the inlet, which I was sort of... Bug. Yeah, I just seen the black beetle on there then, which is not a good sign. Absolutely nothing. We'll see how she goes with this one. If she strikes empty again, I'm going to have to start pulling the traps. But it's not empty. And, oh no, you got one in there. Yeah. One mediocre yabby. I honestly thought this dam probably should have done better than that. We would have probably done better setting them all in the long dam, but anyway. Took off one of the bait out. Yeah. yeah, it's dragged one of the baits out. That's all that pig skin. But he is a nice yabby, nice clean, good medium size, not huge. And I no longer mention there was no wind and look what's happened. It started to blow up. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was one on the bottom of that. <laughs> oh, and he's gone. <laughs> there was a big fella on the bottom. Yeah, no, I saw that. It must have been Nelly sitting up on something for it to get on the bottom of the trap like that. Yeah, did you see it? From the, There's yeah. a couple of big shrimp in there. Did you see it in the camera? I'm not too sure. Look at the size of that shrimp, though. That shrimp there is nearly bigger than some of the yabbies we were catching. <laughs> nice and clean, too. We probably should... Um, do another shrimp catch and cook very shortly. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was one on the bottom of that. And the lucky last trap. Hopefully she does a bit better on this one. I probably should have got around the other side here because I'm filming into the sun here. Oh, yes. What do we got there? Monster. There's one monster and one mediocre. <laughs> oh, yes. I nearly reckon we'd probably do all right leaving the trap set here for a while, but have a go at that for a yabby. That's an absolute beauty. I'd like to see a trap full like that. That's a nice one. You should... So we didn't actually get a great big bucket full of yabbies today, but what we did get was absolute quality. Check this out. I've kept six of these fellas. And I don't even think he's the nice one. Have a look in the bucket here. We've kept six, but they're six good quality big yabbies. And I think today we were going to go home and cook a nice little dish up. But it's such a beautiful morning out here. I do have the cast iron skillet with me. I think we might just barbecue these six up and eat them nice and fresh. Literally only been out of the water 15 minutes and again if you've watched it this far you haven't hit the subscribe button i don't know what you're doing but you better hit it right now so i'll give you a bit of a look at what i've done i've sliced them down the middle um taken the head off we've just got a nice little clean tail there and i do have water here so i'll give them a good clean beforehand I've taken all the really big nippers off and I've already sat them on the cast iron because they'll take a lot longer to cook. And I'm just going to sprinkle some seasoning over these tails. Give them a good little drenching in the seasoning. And what I'll do, I think that cast iron should be pretty hot. Yep, hear that sizzle? First off, I'm going meat down. And we'll leave them meat down till they get a good sear on them. Because I only want to flip them once because they're, um, they're not the cleanest. So once I flip it over onto that tail part, I don't want to flip it back onto the meat. That's how you tell they're fresh. When you put them on and they flip like that, that's how you know they are bloody fresh. 
Look at the size of that fella, that's a good tail there. There's his mate, the other half. And I'm just gonna push them down, make sure they get a nice bit of heat. I've got it going fairly flat out. Watch it moving too. Yeah. I'll just keep flipping these nippers. Once those tails are all seared up and ready, because they will cook a lot quicker than the nippers, what I'll do is I'll put a bit of water on there so those nippers actually boil a little bit. And I wasn't really expecting to do a cook up out here, so I didn't really bring anything um, apart from what I've already had in the ute, which I normally carry around with me, which is the skillet. Um, there's a bit of oil and seasoning in here from last time I went, but we've got no other cutlery or tongs or anything like that. So she's a bit of a bush snack. But they're generally the best. I will get a bit of steam and going under there. Check that out. What I've got here is some ice cold water. The tails are done. I've pulled them off. They're sitting underneath my hat here away from the flies, I can get rid of that now. And what my plan is, I'm gonna put these nippers straight into ice cold water. And hopefully that will make the meat come away from the shell a lot easier, for one. And two, they'll cool down a lot quicker so we can eat them. Straight into ice cold water. Oh, that is nice and icy cold too. I was nearly thinking I might have to flush that out a bit, but um, no, that's held up the coldness well. This water bottle here is full of ice and water, obviously. We'll let them in there for a couple of minutes. And for the big reveal, our plate of goodness. We didn't bring any plates or anything, obviously. And they've been cooling down for a good couple of minutes. So they'll be ready to dig straight into that seared yabby tail straight from the dam. Mm. I don't think Eileen wants any today, so. Leave me the small ones. <laughs> I'll have these couple of big ones, then she can have a taste test. Look at this. Everyone get it on camera. Peeled straight out, empty shell. And the shell can stay here. Look at that. Mm, that was that big fella that we got right at the very end. Mm -mm. Where's his other Closer half? Closer to you. Oh, the other half. This one here. This is the other half of him. Eileen wants a small one, so I'll just have to have the big fella. Look at that. Mm-mm. You grab me. Finger licking good. Peel me one. The one closest to you. This one? That one. She's eating all the big ones on me. That's small. Look at that. It is only a small one. Here's a look. Stand over here where we can cold. see you. It's cold. Yeah. I'll let them cool what down you for do? you. I didn't want them hot. Just shoo them flies away. What do you reckon? We can't taste it yet. <laughs> what do you yeah, do? Yeah, she won't be able to taste it till the last one. What do you do? Just feel it like that? Yeah. See? Easy as. You can flick that shell away because that's just a bit of calcium for the soil. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> but you got to try another one. I feel like... What's that shell? Well, you're eating the shell too. Oh. <laughs> I swallow it. I feel like that was a shell. Okay. We'll see if I can taste it. Oh yeah, that's yum. <laughs> Wanna have some? Yeah. Now we're taking in turns. I'm getting all the big ones. And they've cooled down really well, actually. 
They're actually cool. Mm. Have another small one. Yeah, we'll take in turns now. One for me, one for the boss. Cute. Mm. Yum. This is the first time I'm having something like this. Is it? I can't remember the last time I try one. Maybe you cooked some, you didn't give me any. Probably. <laughs> Yeah, you can't really beat that seasoning, seared yabby tail on the cast iron with a bit of that seasoning on it. Um, it's pretty hard to beat. Fresh yabby. Most simple way, straight out of the dam. Give them a bit of a clean. Chop them down the centre and straight on the cast iron. You can have that one, it's big. This is the part that I've been waiting for. I'll get rid of that first. Let's see how we've done. Oh, look at that. Putting it in that cold water straight after. Look at that. That is literally the best part of the Yabby. I'll crack one open for the boss. And again, just pop straight out. Look at that, nice big chunk of meat. And I've already got rid of the little butterfly bit that's down the middle. It's, there's none. So it's just pure meat. Come around here into the sun. There is still some. So. Oh, I thought I got rid of it. <laughs> Set her up. Lucky I checked. <laughs> It'll be right just chew around it. Mm -hmm. I thought I pulled that out. It mustn't have come out. I was going to chew it whole. <laughs> that is literally the best part of the Abbey. It's fresh. And especially when they're nice and big like that. Yum. That one's all in This one is going to be a bit tough because I can't pull this little piece off because he's had it chopped off. What you'd normally do. That little nipper bit that moves, you snap it off and pull it out and the meat will just fall out because there's a like a cartilage bone up the middle. See if I can <laughs> see it. See that there? Yeah. And it holds the meat in. Mm -hmm. Ah, I just dropped it. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I'll give you a look on this one. It's a whole nipper. So you got this little butterfly a bit, crack it that way, crack it that way, and generally if you're careful, that will come out. Then all you've got left to do is give it a good crack. Some can be a bit tough. And your shell should just fall away like that, and your meat will just come out of the shell and there is that little dangly bit off there that goes in up into here it's quite edible but it's got a completely different texture it's like jelly mm. i don't like it <laughs> and the boss just commandeered that one <laughs> what you took it off me yeah. see that one there i bug it up i pulled it out and the little butterfly bit didn't come with it that's what you did with the, my, my first one. Yeah, must have. But still, generally, if you get rid of that, it'll still come out. The only problem is, you can still do it. Pull the little butterfly out. 
Look at that. <laughs> it's a whole big chunk. So we'll leave this video here. We've had a pretty good morning. Um, got some absolute beauty yabbies. Didn't get a lot, but we were only here for about an hour. Um, if it wasn't so far from town, I would have left them in for probably half a day and come back, um, which I probably would like to do, but we do have other jobs to get done today. And it's getting bloody hot. There's no shade out here. We've had a good little snack. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. And we're going to have to hit the road and get moving.